So how would we treat this patient? We should tell him to avoid certain medications that may induce ST elevation in the right precordial leads like sodium channel blockers, calcium channel and beta blockers, nitrates, and cholinomimetic. The patient should also avoid cocaine, cannabis, and excessive alcohol intake and treat fever with antipyretic medications because as we know that fever is a precipitating factor for ventricular arrhythmias. ICD is the first line of treatment to be recommended in those survivors of cardiac arrest or having documented spontaneous sustained BT and also it should be considered in patients with type 1 and arrhythmic syncope otherwise go for loop recorder to diagnose any ventricular arrhythmia in patients with unexplained syncope. Kinidine is the most famous to be used to be considered in patients with Progada syndrome who qualify for ICD but having contraindication, refusing ICD or having recurrent ICD shocks. Kinidine would reduce the recurrence of ventricular arrhythmias. Celestazole, which is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor, can be an alternative in some situations, and isoprenaline infusion should be considered in patients with progada suffering from electrical storm, catheter ablation of the triggering PVCs, and or the RVOT epicardial substrate is a class 2A in progada syndrome patient with recurrent appropriate ICD shocks refractory to medication. Ablation here of the 5 protect substrate in the RVOT can suppress recurrent VF and normalize the ACG in more than 75% and in those with recurrent episodes of VF triggered by a similar PVC morphology not responding to medical treatment, catheter ablation may target this PVC that commonly originates from the RVOT or the Purkinje system. What about asymptomatic Brugada syndrome patients? They represent about two-thirds of the total patient. A patient with a spontaneous type 1, but he doesn't have any clinical features and no significant family history. Here, there is a role for programmed electrical stimulation during an AP study to look for inducible VT, and ICD may be considered in selected asymptomatic patients with inducible VF during an AP study but we don't put ICD or start medical treatment spontaneously without an EP study. And the big no that sodium channel blocker test is not recommended in patients with prior type 1 Progada syndrome because it is a spot diagnosis. I don't need to have a provocative test. And catheter ablation in asymptomatic patients is not recommended. The first line treatment, of course, is ICD. Once the patient is symptomatic, he has a very high risk for sudden cardiac death followed by starting medical treatment like kinidine if the patient is still having recurrent ICD shocks or refusing or contraindicated to put an ICD or isoprilinin. In case of electrical storm, we can think of EP study and catheter ablation. In case of electrical storm or repeated ICD shocks and don't forget to advise your patient to avoid hot weather or path, alcohol, heavy meals and also avoid specific medications mentioned before.